Praise the Lord, it's a great day and we are happy na kasama kayo ngayon. Thank you for being with us. Samahan niyo po kami and we believe that the secret to your future is in your daily routine. Kung ano ang ginagawa mo araw-araw, nandiyan ang sikreto ng tagumpay. What you are doing daily is the key to catapult you to victory. Our topic for today is Habits to Create a Victorious Life. This is Pastor Jay Nasualo greeting you a blessed day. Habits are powerful. Mabisa yan. Amen? Man, pwede niyang sirain at buuin ang iyong buhay. Parang minsan malilit na bagay lamang yan, pero it will dictate where you are going and who you will be. Amen? Kung sino ka, takadepende yan sa ginagawa mo araw-araw. Hallelujah! Kaya ang malaking tanong, what are your habits? Ano ba ang mga ginagawa mo? Is it building you or is it destroying you? Amen? That is the big question. Kaya nga, if you want to become a victorious person, kailangan mo mag-develop ng mga habits na magdadala sa iyo sa tagumpay. So, success depends on the habits you develop. Kung ano ang mga ginagawa mo, yan ang magdadala sa iyo sa tagumpay. Hallelujah! Remember, whatever you have and whatever happens in your life, amen, it's not an accident. Hindi po aksidente yan. And it does, it does not necessarily always be the will of God. More than you know, higit sa alam mo, yung mga nangyayari sa buhay mo, it is in your hand. Kaya yung sikreto, the secret to your future, is in your daily routine. Kung ano ang madalas na ginagawa mo araw-araw na andoon nakatago ang iyong tagumpay. So what you do on a daily basis will determine what you have in this life. Sabi nga ng Galatians chapter 6 verse 7, Do not be deceived. Huwag kang madaya. God is not mad for whatever a person sow, kung ano raw tinanim mo, that is, he will reap also. So, sabi nga ng Nasby, So, it is clear. What you do daily is what you will reap in the future. Praise God! Kaya nga, you have to make a decision sa oras na ito. To, to make, amen, or to create a habits or habits that will catapult you to your victory. Hallelujah! Praise God! Kaya nga, if you want to end defeat, if you want to end discouragement, or going around the same problem, the same issue, again and again and again in your life, it is time na iangat natin ang ating pananampalataya. Amen? Take that faith higher level and create habits that will make us victorious. Hallelujah! Kaya, aside from reading the Bible, alam ko madalas yun ang ginagawa yan, and aside from praying, madalas naman kayo nagpe-pray, today, we will learn to create some habits that will bring us to a victorious life. So, let us open our Bible in Joshua chapter 1, verse 7 and 8. I mean, these are very important words of God for Joshua. And it's also an important word for us from God. Sabi dito sa Joshua, or Josue sa Tagalog, chapter 1, verse 7, Basta't magpakatatag ka at laksan mo ang iyong loob. Sundin mong mabuti. Take note, sundin mong mabuti ang buong kautusang ibinigay ni Moises. Huwag kang susuway sa anumang nakasaad doon at magtatagumpay ka saan ka man mapunta. Verse 8. Huwag mong kaligtaan. Basahin ang aklat ng kautusan. Ito yon, Amen? At pagbulay-bulayan mong yon araw-gabi upang matupad mo ang lahat ng nasaad doon. Sa ganoon, magiging masagana at matagumpay ang iyong buhay. Praise God. Napakaganda tayo po ay manalang. Aming nga masalangit, samahan mo kami ng iyong Holy Spirit. At hayaan mo, Diyos, maranasan namin ng iyong kapangyarihan. Na ang buhay namin mabago. Yung aming mga araw-araw na ginagawa ay maging maayos. Hindi lang maubos sa anumang mga bagay, kundi maubos para sa iyong kalulatian. Kaya Lord God in heaven, guide us Lord God and empower us that we may learn great things today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So today, we will learn the habits that will bring us to victorious life 
aside from praying and aside from reading the Bible. So, number one habit, amen? Number one habit is meditate the Word of God daily. Hallelujah! That's very important habit that we should be doing daily. Alam nyo po, a weekly snack of the Word of God ay hindi sapat. Sinasabi ko na sa inyo. Amen? Yes, pupunta tayo sa church each Sunday para makarinig ng salita ng Panginoon. Maganda yon. But I am telling you, it's not sufficient to sustain you through the trials. Hindi sapat yan para malagpas mo ang lahat ng pagsubok na pwedeng ibato ni Satanas sa'yo. We need a daily dose of God's Word. Kailangan natin ng araw-araw na pagme-meditate ng salita ng Diyos to stand on the top of every trials that may come. Hallelujah! Kaya nga sabi nga ng Diyos kay Joshua, alam ng Panginoon ni, eh, haharap si Joshua sa isang matinding digmaan. They will conquer lands. Amen? May mga tao na andun na. And they need to conquer it one nation to another nation. Kaya sinabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, this book of the law, amen, Joshua, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate it, take note about, meditate it day and night, that you may observe to do according to what is written in it. Amen, then God said this, uh, for then you will make, then you will make your way prosperous. And then you will have good success. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. So it is God saying that you need a daily hot meals of God's word. Hallelujah! Parang pagkain eh. Kailangan araw-araw bagong luto. Amen? Ganun ang salita ng Diyos. It is, yan ang sinasabi na Panginoon na tanging paraan lang. Amen? It is the way, sabi ng Lord Scripture, the way to make you prosperous and successful. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng sikreto para magtagumpay, sikreto para madagana, amen, sinabi na ni, ng Diyos. At ang sinabi ng Panginoon ay, you meditate. My son, meditate the Word of God. Hallelujah. Kaya nga, napakahalaga na mag-spend tayo ng time sa Word of God in daily basis. On daily basis. Not only on Sunday, yes, Maganda, nagsisimba because it's a fellowship, amen? You release things, amen? So, it's a corporate thing, amen, to worship God. But I am telling you, amen, God's Word is not only for Sunday. It should be taken daily. Hallelujah, amen? It may look impossible. Sabi, Pastor, ang dami kong trabaho kung alam mo lang. Amen, lumulusot lang ako para makapag-church. It may look impossible sa schedule nyo. Pero itong sikreto, if you arrange your schedule around the Word of God, okay, ah? around the Word of God, yung schedule mo, bubuhay mo sa, pag sa gitna ng salita ng Diyos, instead of trying to make the Word of God fit in your busy schedule, amen, it is doable. Kaya nga kung ikaw gagawa ni schedule sa buhay mo, amen, you need to understand that you put the Word of God in the center and you do your schedule. <laughs> Amen? Hindi pwede yung you do your schedule and, and fit the Word of God somewhere wherein na merong vacant time. Pag ganun gagawin mo, Amen? You will never have a time for the Word of God. Alam nyo, many have missed a good life. Marami na miss ang isang magandang buhay because they miss the Word of God not only on Sunday, they miss the Word of God on a daily basis. Amen? Kaya kung iyo, nag-iisip ka, eh, Pastor, bakit mahalaga ba na mag kami sa Word of God in daily basis? Bakit mahalaga yun? Because the Word is life. Sinabi ni Jesus Christ yun. Sabi ni Lord, the, the words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. Hallelujah! That's John chapter 6 verse 63. Ibig sabihin, ang salita ng Diyos ay buhay. So, if you're looking for success, if you're looking for prosperity in life, if you're looking for life, look on the Word of God. Hallelujah! There's no other way around. Katulad lang yan, isang pagtatayo ng isang bahay. Eh. Amen? Kaya pag nagtayo ko ng bahay, it is important that the blocks are all aligned. 
Kaya yung hollow blocks, dapat yan ay tamang tindig yan. They are all aligned. Sabi nga nila, nasa hulog. Because if not, your house could collapse anytime. Ganon din ang buhay. If you want a strong and a victorious life, you need a solid alignment with the Word of God. Dapat ang buhay natin, nakahulog din sa salita ng Diyos. Amen? Ang problema kasi minsan, yung buhay, laglag. Amen? Disaligned with the Word of God. Amen? And yung buhay natin, na ilalagay lang natin sa hulog, in alignment with the Word of God, when you meditate daily the Word of God, doon lang. Kasi ito sabi, ay, may mali pala. So, doon lang tayo nagkakaroon realization. So, kaya, if you want to see a fast change in your life, okay, you focus on the Word of God first things every day. You put the Word of God your priority every morning. Kasi, as you press on, amen, on the Lord, into the Lord, and focus on the Word of God, magugulat na lamang kayo, you will automatically align your thoughts with God's thoughts. Yung isip ng Panginoon, you will, you will align and put you in the position to the victory God has promised in your life. Kaya nga, sa oras na ito, mag-build tayo ng habit of meditating the Word of God in daily basis. Kasi, as God said, Amen? At ganun din, as God promised, prosperity and good success will be yours. That's number one habit. Meditate on the Word of God daily. Second habit, amen? Habit number two, is speak the Word of God. Hallelujah! Sabihin mo yung salita, as yung narinig mo, yung nabasa mo, I mean, meditate mo, you proclaim it, you speak it. Narinig nyo na siguro yung kasabihan ito, you are what you eat. Sino ka kung ano kinakain? Yes, totoo yan. Amen? What you put in is what you get. Parang sa computer, garbage in is garbage out. Same in the essence with God. Ginyan din sa Panginoon. Amen? You are what you speak. Kung anong sinasabi mo, ikaw yun. So if you notice, sinabi ng Panginoon kay Joshua to, ah, This book of the law, shall not depart from your mouth. Imagine, it shall not depart in your mouth. Then God said, for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Kasi, ba't kaya sinasabi ng Panginoon kay Joshua na yung salita ng Diyos shall not depart in his mouth? Bakit kaya? Ano kaya koneksyon ng bibig uh, sa tagumpay at kasaganan. What is the connection of your mouth to that? It is because the words carry life and death. Lahat ng sinasabi natin, bit-bit niyan ang buhay at kamatayan. At if you are not watchful in what you are saying, hindi mo binabantayan ng sinasabi mo, kahit pabiro, panakot, panakot lang, you may be calling curses and even death in your life. Ba't ko sinasabi yan? Kasi sinabi ng Proverbs 18.21 eh. That is how it declares. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Ang buhay at kamatayan ay nasa dila na kasalayan. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Kaya mahalaga sa Diyos ang sinasabi mo. Amen? Kung maaaring sabi mo, Pastor, I'm just, it's a prank, it's a joke. Amen? Amen? I'm telling you, even how how you take it, how you say it, your words still matter. Kaya kung gusto mong isang magandang buhay, isang buhay na prosperous, with a good success, you speak the word of God. And only the word over your life and the lives of those people around you. Iwas ang sumpa, deklara ng pagpapala. What you are today, sino ka man ngayon, who you are today, is the result of what you speak in the past. Lahat ng meron ka ngayon ay yan ay resulta ng sinabi mo sa nakaraan. So, if you want to change, kung gusto mong baguhin ang takbo ng buhay mo ngayon, this is a very wonderful advice from God. Change what you say. Baguhin mo ang iyong sinasabi. Pasinin nyo, in the beginning, 
God created the world by His word. Linika ng Diyos ang lahat sa pamamagitan ng Kanyang salita. He said, what He wants, I mean, lahat ng gusto niya makita, sinabi niya, at nangyari. Sabi niya, magkaroon ng liwanag, magkaroon ng liwanag, magkaroon ng mga lumilipad, magkaroon ng lumil, magkaroon ng mga ibon. Same with us. Once we declare that Jesus as our Lord and Savior, yung kapangyarihan ng Almighty God comes to live inside of us. So we are, we also form, take note us, we also form our world by the words we speak. Amen? Bumuyo-buo rin natin ang ating buhay, ang ating mundo, kasama ang Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mga sinasabi. So how so how to get in the place where you speak the word of God? Simple lang naman sa lahat ng sitwasyon, it is putting again, babalik tayo sa habit number one, it is putting the word of God in your heart on a daily basis. Amen? Then, speaking His word will become automatic reaction ng buhay natin. Kaya pag may sakit tayo, hindi yung sinasabi, ang sakit, ang hirap ng buhay, walang pera. Amen? You declare what God says. Pag may sakit, by His wounds and stripes, I'm healed. Amen? Pag nangangailangan, and God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Pag mahirap, Amen? Ang Diyos ang aking lakas. Amen? You declare what God has said. So if trial comes your way, Don't let the devil have the final word in your life. Huwag mong papayagan si Satanas ang may huling salita sa buhay mo. Talk back. You speak. Amen? Speak what you want to see and not what you are seeing at that time. Sabihin mo yung gusto mong makita. Like Jesus. Amen? When Jesus was tempted by the devil. Amen? Pansin niyo sa lahat ng binato ni Satanas na tukso sa kanya, he answered back. If you look on Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 11, he answered with the word and the word only. Kaya ganun din tayo. He answered back to the devil by the word of God. That's the power. Sabi nga na Romans chapter 4, verse 17, God called those things which be not as though they were. Sabi sa New King James Version, ang Diyos ay tumatawag sa mga bagay na parang naandyan na, pero wala pa. Amen? And God is calling us, tinatawag din tayo ng Diyos, to do the same. Ganun din tayo. Amen? Sabihin din natin yung mga bagay na gusto nating makita, kahit hindi pa nating nakikita. Amen? Pansin ninyo, when God did it, mighty things and miracles happen. Imagine, sabi ng Panginoon, sa first day of creation, let there be light, and light comes up, came up. Nandun, nagkaroon ng liwanang. And imagine, kailan lumabas ang buwan at araw? Kailan kinineate ng Diyos yan? God created it in the fourth day. Ibig sabihin, may liwanag na kahit walang araw at walang buwan. Grabe! Because that's the power of faith. It's the power of declaration. Kaya no matter What you are facing with right now, ano mang hinaharap mo, always speak life, speak healing, speak blessing, speak abundance, speak peace, speak forgiveness, speak the word of God again and again and again, amen, until, amen, na mangyari yan sa buhay mo, amen, confessing the word of God in faith hanggat yung pag-confess ng salita ng Diyos ay maging natural na. Natural na sa'yo. Amen? Until it changes your life forever. Glory to God. Kaya, if you want to create a victorious life, ito isang habit na dapat natin gawin. Create a habit to speak the word of God. That's number two habit. Create that habit to speak the word of God. Amen? That's number two. And number three habit is obey the word of God. That is the third habit that we need to do. Alam niyo po, obedience to God and His word ay mahalaga. At yan ay essential to obtain victory over every circumstances. Katulad nga sinabi ng Panginoon kay Joshua, pansin niyo, okay, alam niyo na ang haharapin ni Joshua. And he, God knows na pwede matakot si Joshua. 
Kaya sabi ng Panginoon kay Joshua, Only be strong and very courageous. Laksa mo loob mo, sabi ng Lord. That you may observe, take note of it, that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it, amen, to the right hand or the left, that, take note of this, that you may prosper wherever you go. Joshua chapter 1, verse 7. Amen? Sinasabi ng Panginoon na maliwanag na mahalaga ang pagsunod mo sa salita ng Panginoon. At ang resulta niyan ay prosperity and success. I mean, prosperity doesn't mean about money, but prosperity, it's having the wellness. I mean, you prosper in health, you prosper in life, you prosper in finances, you prosper in relationship, and you prosper in everything. Amen? Alam nyo, ito ang dahilan, this is, some, this is where many have missed. They were doing everything right. Ginagawa nila ang lahat. Pasinan nyo, baka makarelate kayo dito. You are tithing, you are giving, you are praying, you are meditating the word of God, you are confessing the word of God, yet, Global keeps coming. Problema, dating, nandating, nandating. De, misa nagtatakaw na ka na eh. Amen? What went wrong? Ano problema, Pastor? It may be a hard statement, sinasabi ko si kapatid. But we often miss obedience. That is the issue. Amen? We knew the word, but we are not doing it. Yun ang nagiging problema. Kaya kailangan may habit tayo na sumunod sa Panginoon. We knew the promise of God, but we are not doing what the promise is asking us to do. Amen? Clinic claim or clinic claim that God shall supply our needs. Pero ang tanong, amen? Are you doing the condition that comes with it? Amen? We are just looking at the word and forgetting to act on it. Simple lang eh. Alam mong masustansya ang saking. Masustansya ang apple. Masustansya ang prutas. Alam mo. You know it ever since. But this is the question. Kinakain mo ba? Are you acting on the truth? Diba? Diba mas masalang kumain ng hamburger, prince price? <laughs> Hallelujah. It is the same with the word of God. Alam natin ang totoo, alam natin dapat gawin, ang problema hindi natin ginagawa, kaya hindi natin maranasan yung tagumpay na ipinangako ng Panginoon. So to create a victorious life, make a habit to obey. Amen? Or in other words, to act on the word of God. Gawin natin sinasabi ng Panginoon. We do what it says, we do what it asks. Kaya sabi nga, remember this, sometimes, the only way to live a victory and not defeat is to be obedient to God where we were previously disobedient. Napakahalagang statement yung kapatid ko. Kung sa magtagumpay, sa kabahuling sumaway. Yung bagay na sinaway mo, amen, sumunod ka na sa Panginoon. At naniniwala ko, susunod ang tagumpay. Amen? It is a wake-up call to everyone. Sabi nga ng Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 33, walk in obedience to all that the Lord your God has commanded you. So, so that, sabi scripture, you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you that you will possess. Grabe. That's the secret. Your obedience will prolong your life, will prosper you, will give you good success. So, anyone who wants to know God, maranasan na Panginoon, experience Him. Walk closely with Him. Alam nyo, kailangan mong sumunod. You must obey Him. There's no way that you can walk fully blessed. Sinasabi ko sa kahit meron ka ngayon. Kasi sabihin mo, sagana ka na, you don't, you don't eat anything. Amen. You have everything. But I'm telling you, you cannot walk fully blessed and come into a close relationship with God without obeying. Kaya today, this is a habit that we need to create. Amen? So, create a habit that you will always obey what God has said. And then you will see God 
creating a victorious life in your life. Amen? In you. Kaya nga, sa buhay natin, kung gusto makita gumagawa ang Diyos sa buhay mo, dapat sumusunod ka sa Diyos. Amen? That's number three habit. And this is number four, the bonus habit. Amen? I, I call this a bonus habit. Habit number four. Amen? Very important kasi ito, kaya hindi ko maiwan. Build your faith. That's number four. Build that faith. Mahalaga ang pananampalataya para sa isang batagumpay na buhay. Amen? Pero, gusto kong idiin sa inyo, Amen? Living in faith is your responsibility. Responsibilidad mo yan. Amen? Hindi mo pwede ituloy yan sa Diyos. Amen? Bakit? Because God has already given us a measure of faith. You are being saved by faith, so ibig sabihin, may faith ka. Amen? And it's not about your pastor. Amen? Hindi pwede si sa pastor mo yan. It's not about the people around you. Amen? Pwede mong gamitin ang faith nila for a meantime, but you cannot use that faith for a long time. Amen? The only one who can guarantee a faith that is strong, amen, that it can move mountain, it can shut down the lion's mouth, quench the flames of fire, and turn the impossible to possible, alam niyo kung sino? Ikaw lang. Wala na iba. Amen? It is you who is responsible about your faith. Amen? Yes, God, Jesus, is the author and finisher of our faith. But building is strong, it is your responsibility. But if you wonder, why is building faith important? Okay, bakit? Kasi sabi ng Hebrew 11 verse 6, it's only by faith that we can please God. Walang ibang paraan na matutuwang Diyos sa pamagitan lamang na pananampalata. Sabi nga ng scripture, and the righteous shall live by faith. Amen? And another, sabi ng Mark 11 verse 23, and it's only by faith we can receive every promise from God. Sabi niya, if you believe that you have received it, it will be yours. Sabi nga sa iba pang, ano, iba pang lain, okay, sabi na, nothing is possible when you believe. Grabe. Kaya faith is important. It is something you need to build. Kaya how to build that kind of faith? Ito lang, simple. It is again, balik tayo sa number one, it's again by hearing the word of God again and again and again. Sabi niya na Romans 10.17, Katulad lang yan ng isang natural bodybuilding. Eh. Man, if you want to make your body strong, build muscles, you are repeating routines. Amen? You do, okay? Biceps, 12, 12 times, then repeat it 3 times. Okay? So to develop your muscle, you continuously repeating routines. Same, faith is repetition. Ang susi sa faith is repetition of the Word of God. Repetition is the key to build a strong faith and doing it on a daily basis. Kaya nga, when you are building your faith, it's you need to hear the word on God on daily basis. Amen? Kaya nga, hamon ko po sa inyo. Amen? Be in the place where the word of God is preached. Amen? Makinig kayo. Imbis na kung ano-ano pinapakinggan nyo, amen, buksan nyo YouTube, makinig kayo ng mga preaching wherein Jesus were preached. Amen, buksan nyo itong ating online service, sigaw ng tagumpay, amen, you can watch videos, previous videos, and you hear faith-building words. Amen? Because, tandaan nyo to, when you build that faith, okay, hearing the word of God in daily basis, ito mangyari, truth will come. Then again, when you hear the word, faith will come. And then, victory will come. That's happened. Amen? Yun ang mangyayari. Kaya kailangan natin, i-build natin ang ating pananampalataya. Kaya bilang pangwakas, the secret of a victorious life is dependent on your daily routine. Amen? Yes, amen, it, it is dependent to God. Okay? That's number one part. But you have your part. Amen? And it is dependent on what you are doing. It's in your habits. Amen? What you do on a daily basis will determine what you will have in this life. Kaya mahalaga yung ginagawa mo. Pagising mo na umaga, ano ba ginagawa mo? Mahalaga yun. Amen? Kung gigising ka ng 11 o'clock na ng tanghali, ano na mangyayari? Amen? And you will sleep at 3 o'clock in the morning, eh, iba na usapan yun. 
So it is important to create spirit-filled habits. I'm telling you, mahalaga na makadevelop tayo ng mga spirit-filled habits that will catapult us to victory. That will praise and honor the Almighty God. And I'm telling you, first habit, kaya balikan natin, meditate the Word of God. It is spending time with the Word. Second, speak the Word. Ulitin ko, what you speak is what you get. Kung ano sinabi mo, yan ang darating. Amen? What you have now is a direct result of what you have said in the past. Number three, third habit, you obey the Word of God. Amen? There is no way, walang ibang paraan, to, to walk in, a, in the blessing of God and without obedience. And last, build your faith. A well-developed faith will make things possible. Hallelujah! Kaya nga, if you want to put an end, gusto mo lang tapusin, all kinds of defeat, all kinds of discouragement, and repeating problem, it's time to create habits that will make your life victorious. Amen? Kaya nga, if you do this, I believe and declare that your life will be blessed, victorious, and never be the same again in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah! So we will not end this broadcast without giving you an opportunity to accept Jesus in your life. Kung nais yung tanggapin si Jesus sa buhay nyo, sumunod kayo sa magsimpan na lang ito na parang kayong nalalangin. Sabi niyo, Panginoong Jesus, Lord Jesus, today, forgive me for all my sins. Cleanse me from all my iniquities. Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Be with me forever. Guide me through my daily routines. Fill me by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you accepted Jesus in your life, I do believe na born again ka. Kaya hamon ko sa'yo, magbasa ka ng Bible. Pray to God, meditate, attend Sunday services. Amen. Where Jesus were preached. Welcome ka rin sa Prayer of Faith Church Worldwide Ministries. Gusto malaman ng malapit na lugar. Amen. Just message us and we believe. And tuturo ka namin sa pinakamalapit na lugar na pwede mong daluhan sa biyaya ng Panginoon. Hallelujah! So today, let us pray. Father God in heaven, thank you Lord for the word that you have taught us. Thank you Lord that you have given us way to prosper and have good success. And thank you Lord for opening our mind to those four very important habits that we need to create right now. Kaya hey Lord, Holy Spirit, alam po namin, hindi po namin to kaya kung kami lang. Kaya humingi kami ng tulong sa iyo. Partner with us that we may develop this kind of habit from now till the end, Lord, in Jesus' name. And I pray sa lahat, Lord God, na nakikinig, pagpalahain mo ang kanilang buhay. Maranasan nila ang isang matagumpay na buhay na pinangako mo. Hindi lamang dito sa lupa, kundi hanggang sa langit. Kaya Lord, today, nag po kami ng pagpapala. Buhay na ganap, buhay na kasiyasiya, at buhay na matagumpay kay Yesu Kristo. Kaya Lord, salamat. Sino may may karamdaman, right now we rebuke it, we bind it, we cast it out in Jesus' name. And we declare thy healing touch of Jesus to flow in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for that healing. Lord, thank you, and we receive it. We praise you. We have that victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for being with us. I hope this message of God, amen, touched your life. And I would like to ask you, please, share this video. And niniwala ko, marami dyan na nangangailangan ng salita ng Diyos, na kaibigan mo. Please share this video, amen? And I do believe this, this word of God, Will, be, will become a blessing to their life. And I, again, I ask you a favor to subscribe in our channel. If you're watching right on YouTube, Sigaw ng Tagumpay. Amen? And if you are watching right now in uh, Facebook, click follow. Amen? Our page, Sigaw ng Tagumpay. Ganon din ating page sa uh, ng official page ng ating church, Prayer of Faith Church Worldwide Ministries. Thank you for being us. Meron pa tayo mga services mamaya, tatlo pa ito and link will be posted later on. So thank you for joining us. So in behalf of Prayer Faith Church Worldwide Ministries, 
Amen. Ang ating spirit director, Bishop Ross M. Nasuelo. Ang ating senior pastor, Reverend Dr. Alex Nasuelo. Ito po yung lingkod, Reverend Dr. Jane Nasuelo. Pastor Jane Short with my wife, Pemi Lisa, and my daughter, Celeb. Greeting you a blessed day. And always remember that Jesus loves you, we love you, and Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah.